How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the shop again. We're working on the MR2 as usual. As you can see back here, I still have a big old hole going straight to the engine. I want to put a cover over it with some heat shield to just keep the noise out of the cabin. I also want to build a cover for the top of this engine because every time it rains or any water gets in, it doesn't come in through the vent holes like I thought it would up here. It actually comes in from here and jumps right over and water accumulates right in the spark plug tray here on top of the valve cover. And to prevent any electronic issues, I'm gonna make a little metal cover to just guide the water off of it. And last but not least, when I made my fuel lines, I used half inch lines with large AN fittings and the original cover obviously does not fit anymore. So just some flimsy sheet metal. I can make something quick out of that. I also had to run the, uh, the hard lines that I ran. I couldn't bend them to run them under that. I had to cut a hole in the side of the wall there. I'm gonna make a cover that just covers all that up. So if you watched the last few videos I've done, you'll recognize this as pretty much my work surface. This was actually meant to be the covers themselves. It's just a sheet of aluminum. Gonna be a little generous on the sizing of this. And let's go 35, 35. So we're gonna go 35 inches across, 12 inches across here. All right, let's go 21 inches by nine inches. 35, 12, 's my two pieces of raw material so I'm gonna start with the spark plug cover so the nine inch measurement was actually to account for a bend at seven and a half inches I don't have a break so I'm gonna use the edge of my table and some clamps I'm gonna use a rubber mallet to try to hammer it in place this one doesn't have to look good because I'm only gonna put it on when it's raining so I don't care if it has hammer marks in it. Right now I'm just marking where the cross brace bolts go because they're going to be in the way. Hit it with some green. In case I do get caught with it installed. So off camera, I tried to do a test fit and both of my studs were stripped out. So I wound up breaking them off and I put some rib nuts in place of them. You see where the brass looking pieces are. So that's what I'll be using to attach. I put the plastic here to catch any debris from drilling and stuff like that. I'll leave it on for the rest of this project as well. And there's the ugly little rain tray. Mostly for function, not form. I wound up having to take that piece and cutting a little radius into it because the top part of this Seems to have a little curve, and I didn't realize that when I'm going into it. I was kind of hoping I can manipulate the rectangle and just make it work, but I guess I had to cut the radius. So like I did the other one, I basically just hammered a lip on the edge of it. 
And what I plan on doing is I'm gonna start by using self tappers to hold it all in place. And that'll also give me my pilot holes to drill for making some riv nuts. And as I drill in the self tappers, I'm gonna hammer it along the way to kind of manipulate it to form the shape of the car. At least that's the plan anyways, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I've got all the self tappers into here. I still have to buy like a firewall seal. So I'm gonna leave this one at this point until I get the seal in to do the rib nuts. It's not perfect and it doesn't look great, but it's gonna be hidden by carpet anyway. Now the last cover, I'm actually gonna use a cake pan. Not gonna use the lid part, but the uh, contour of this matches exactly what I need. It's about as thick as the original cover was also, so I don't see any reason why I can't use this. I use this to find the angle of the hump in the middle of the car, and I transpose that onto here and here. I'm gonna cut across with my bandsaw, and this should run over top of the two fuel lines. Now to apply the seal itself, this stuff's the same kind of crap that you pull off of the original cover of this car. It's going to be more of a cover that you don't really remove that often. You just press it in place and it should stay put. I'm gonna set our little hack job cover in here. All right, and there's the cover installed. It's sealed around. I had to bend it a little bit to get it to seal better. But after that, there'll be a cover over this entire thing so you won't see any of this. There'll be carpet all up here. You won't see any of that. And that won't ever get used in show. So I got some new vinyl repair tape coming in. I have a different method I'm gonna try to apply this. When it gets a little warmer outside, I'm gonna see if I can seal that up better. Well, that's all the time I have this week to work on this. I'll continue whittling away at these things and cleaning them up. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, drop it a like. And if you wanna keep seeing updates on this car and other cars we got coming, please consider subscribing to the channel. And thank you for watching. Peace out.